Hello, good to have you watching the Nan News Highlight. I am Fortune Abang. The Federal Capital Territory Primary Healthcare Development Board has mobilized private school proprietors to boost coverage and ensure acceptance of oral polio vaccines in the area. The board said the move will see children in more than 1,000 FCT private schools and those less than five years old in the territory immunized. Afe Babalola University, Adoikite, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Aztec Group of Hospitals in Dubai to boost tertiary healthcare delivery in Nigeria. Founder of the university, Chief Afe Babalola, said the two institutions would work closely in areas of training consultancy, exchange of technical expertise, and medical administration. Britain says it will empower women and girls in Nigeria, Iraq and Sudan in eight efforts to end conflict, encourage economic growth and reduce poverty in nine countries. Senior ministers said in a national action plan on women, peace and security that although women and girls were disproportionately affected by conflict, they were not part of the solution. Britain pledged to tackle obstacles to women's leadership and political participation, including entrenched patriarchal views, violence and intimidation. And Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says the U.S. has strong relations with African countries and is interested in maintaining the ties. Tillerson expressed the hope that African countries would like to maintain such relations with Washington. The U.S. media on January 11 reported that President Trump used derogatory phrase behind closed doors to describe Haiti and African states. And the United Nations Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping Operations, Jean-Pierre Lacoury, has appointed retired Lieutenant General Chikadibia Obiako of Nigeria to lead a special investigation into the killing of some Burundian refugees in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mr. Stephen Dujaric, spokesman for the United Nations Secretary General in New York, announced this in a statement issued in New York. No fewer than 35 Burundian refugees were killed and more than 100 others wounded by the security forces in eastern part of the country on September 15, 2017. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.